Hey everybody, it's uh, Mr. Techquiz back again. Um, this is going to be my video of um, the New Rise maps part 2. Part 1 was from the first round to the fifth round, just a little test on it to see what it's all about and stuff. Um, basically, I'm going to show you a bit more of the map because I get a bit further, show you more guns. I will also be showing you how to get the achievement called Take on the Dragon I think it is where you stare at the dragon it sounds a lot worse than it is but it's literally just looking at a statue of a dragon and I'll show you it so let's have a quick look so right now it's just round one so it's nothing special I'm just don't really do anything for the first couple of rounds. Um, we show you how to get around the map quite fast in this game. Um, this elevator here, if you go in it and all four of you jump, you literally it will fall down and then you'll go to the lowest floor. Quick way to get around really, just jumping on it. Lo all the elevators move up and down. There's always some way to go with an elevator, I think, most of them. That's quite a cool bit about the map, obviously. like. Jumping from building to building, going up the elevators and stuff like that, really. It's all pretty cool. Um, I'm playing it online, not on my own. I don't really know the kids who I'm playing with. And they're all rather squeaky, so I had to mute my mic as well. But it's an alright game. Get far enough to do the part two. And in the next part, I'll be going further until I die and then I'll just keep going further and further until I get as far as I can and then give up really so yeah you got a lot more videos to come um also just wanna say my actual thoughts on the peacemaker have changed it's a good gun I've been using it all day and it's rather good it's a lot better than when I first used it, I think now. Um hang on a minute, this is how you get the achievement, literally. You come up here, follow what I did, look at the dragon and you'll get an achievement. I've already got it. You have to do it before the end of round two, so round one or two. Otherwise you won't get the achievement. And it's as simple as that really. It's a pretty well, a re really easy achievement to get. I, I didn't really see why they put it in there. Just a little tricky achievement. Nice and decent though. So, there's one achievement. And obviously this is just another part of the map which I didn't explore on my first game. I only explored a couple of rooms on my first game. This is only my second time playing this map. So, it's not too intense, should I say. I don't know my way around it as I did like other zombie maps like I know it like the back of my hand and obviously on the first game I didn't know it at all so this one's going to be a little bit better um, on this game I think I found a couple of new guns I got the um, free burst round pistol the B23R I think it is or something like that that is an amazing gun in zombies. I get claymores here as well. So that's good. Claymores are decent. I do like the claymores on this map. But yeah. The um, pistol. The free burst pistol. It is really good for zombies. Um, yeah. I also find the AN94. Which I just think is near enough similar to the AK. So it's pretty good and I use a submachine gun which I forgot the name of it but you'll see it later on in the video. I think I d in this game I die once or once. I get down twice and I die once. That's because I fall, well actually I only get di downed once and I die once because I fall from a building it was rather stupid obviously you just seen me looking at the that should be where the mystery box will be but I have never found a mystery box yet so I'm not going to be showing you where it is because I don't have a clue how to get there sorry about that it's just me being not very used to the map or the this game at the moment 
to be honest, I never really played any of the other zombie game maps on this game because I didn't think they were as good as Black Ops and World at War. The bus just really annoys me, so I didn't really play it. Um... Yeah, just revive someone. These, I think these people I'm playing with aren't very old, so they're obviously going to die. They do seem a bit... They were really squeaky, so I think they're a bit young, but... Fair play to him for playing the game, even though it's an 18, but... Oh well. There's so much in this map to actually explore. That's what I like about it. There's loads and loads. It's so big, like the buildings, the elevators, the debris to move. There's so much of it. Oh, I love these claymores, they're so cool. Yeah, there's so much to do in this map, that's why I like it so much. It's just brilliant. Once again, that's someone down. So, just get him on the revive, and obviously I'm going to jump straight to the other building. Another thing I like about this game, where you can jump from building to building. This is where I get the B23R, I think it's, I don't actually know what it's fucking called. But yeah, it's a decent gun. I recommend getting it on zombies, it's amazing. Yeah, the B23R. Really good gun. It's three burst round. One burst kills a zombie up till about round seven, I think, or eight maybe. It's really good. I use it I use it for most of the game. I get a lot of kills with it. So well you you'll be seeing that anyway. There's another elevator. You can actually stand on most elevators. And they will take you somewhere, I think. Also, the there's no longer dogs. They are crazy jumping monkey zombies. No, they're not really. They're like... I can't really explain what they are. They they look like zombies, but with just a giant mouth instead of a face. It's, their whole face is just this mouth with fangs. And they jump on the walls, the roofs, and everything. They're just like... I don't know what they are, but they're not dogs. So don't get any ideas about dogs on this game because they're no longer dogs. Which is new and good, I mean, keeps people happy, more new things to see. I miss the dogs personally, because I just thought they were pretty fun. But at the end of the round, you still get max ammo on the end of a, well, I would, I would call it a dog round, or should I call it a special round? Crazy monkey round, whatever. Yeah, that's coming up now anyway, I get it on the 5th. Um, this... That, um, what I just walked past, the, um, workbench, I don't know what you build on it, I suppose it might be a zombie shield or something stupid like that. Well, not stupid, but something like that, I guess. Which, if that's your kind of thing, you do it. I don't know where the parts are, I can't show you, so. Yeah, this is just really gameplay, part two. It's not going to be anything like showing you anything about the map, it's just going to be purely me going around playing zombies talking to you about it and stuff like that um also i'd like to mention i have made a facebook page for my youtube account so obviously the more likes i get on it i will be maybe taking on an admin for the page if i get over a certain amount of likes um i will put a link to the page in the description i have put a tag on a link in my video before this rating the peacemaker and some dlc which is the tags just got the link in it you copy and paste it into your bar like it on facebook i'm not going to go on my own personal account and add you but what i will do is obviously on my mr tech Quiz facebook page i will be you can inbox me asking if you want any sort of game reviewed any sort of game a video on any sort of gameplay anything i'll do it um, you get all my videos I've uploaded put on the page so that like you don't have to go all the way to YouTube to watch it, it'll just be on the Facebook. Also I'll be writing about what I'm doing, what sort of video I'm making, etc. Updates about all I'm doing. Say like making this video, I'll be updating what I'm doing, making a video, how I'm how I'm doing it, what I'm using, etc. Um yeah, so it's. I've got 23 likes on the page at the minute, so that's nothing. If you watch this video, I would really, really appreciate it if you did like the page because 
that'll obviously give me a bonus to the likes and obviously you'll all get some easier way to view my videos, updates, etc. You can maybe message me if you like, it's up to you. It's just going to be a bit casual, a bit more of a fun, relaxed way. But yeah, it's going to be... Oh wow, look, there's there's those crazy monkey things. Their whole face was a mouth. They are about the same size as an actual zombie. But they are... Their face is just a mouth. It's really strange. But it's really cool at the same time. And obviously, the B23R or 32R. Really good gun, as you can see. Just spray them. But you don't spray them. A couple of bursts, they're dead. Can't go wrong with it. Planting claymores everywhere. This is just me, typical. Typical me, doing it the lazy and easy way. So... Yeah, it's typical gameplay for me, really. I'm very lazy on zombies. I'm not really a zombie fan. I'm just new map, new game. Might as well give it a go. Never really been good at zombies, so I'll just show you a little clip of me playing zombies, even though I'm not very good at it. I do really like this pistol though, it's so good. Also, I'm going to mention, well I'm going to talk to you about right now, the League of YouTube Gamers. On my channel there is two links, there's a GameSpot one which I don't think is up no more and there's a Zeta Boards one. The Zeta Boards one is really active, people always on there. Become a member of the League, it's fine. Um, the admins will sort all that out. Um, literally, they help small channels get more views, subscriptions, comments, likes, bigger. If you look like you've got a channel which m deserves more views, they will help you. They've helped me a lot, and I mean a lot. Obviously, I've not got loads and tons, but I'm getting there. The site is really good and helpful. Um, you've got your own channel thread. You've got a shout box, which is just like a chat room. You've got all the updates, you've got level systems on how many posts, threads and stuff you put. But it's really fun, it's active and it's just nice, nice to know that other people are there for you to help you. They do a weekly update as well, so like, they'll do a recap on all the videos, the best videos of the week. And they'll give you a shout out, tell you the people about your videos, etc. It's really good. Um, I want to thank, thank Rated Stars for actually setting it up and being really nice about everything. They are really cool. So, cheers. Um, also, just, as I said, just like my Facebook page. Keep them rolling in. Keep the subscriptions rolling in on my YouTube. The likes, the comments. Everything. Just keep everything going. In. I mean, the views, obviously, they matter. But if you want to subscribe, that would be amazing. That's awesome because I want to keep it going. I'm not going to be on YouTube for a month and then stop and never bother again. I'm going to keep the videos coming all the time. I'm not working at the moment, so I'll be putting loads on, which is not good. I should be working, really. I'm not saying it's good not to work. This is where I die. It's really stupid. I'm drifting off anyway. So, yeah, I die. I skip the round because I don't want you seeing some other guy playing. So I let you just carry on watching me because it's pointless watching someone else because all he did was run around with a crawler and get all his little things he wanted it was really annoying but yeah that's the submachine gun I get I don't know what it's called I cannot remember but it's a good submachine gun for the first 10 to 15 rounds it's alright just blitzes them away pretty much so it's all good I mean it's not very high round it's only round 8 so but yeah it's pretty cool I'm gonna let you watch for a little bit And then I get downed. Obviously I get revived. When you get down on zombies. On round 8. You're embarrassed. I would be embarrassed from this totally. But hey ho. Not a zombie fan so I don't care. Um, Obviously thanks to all the four, three other people who were playing in this game. For helping me with the video. They didn't actually know I was recording. But. Yeah, I want to thank them for it. 
obviously they might come across this video in the future, you never know, and see themselves and think, what the hell. But yeah, um, obviously there's the dragon I just shot at. There's two dragons, I don't know if they both get the achievement, but the one I did definitely does, because I've got the achievement. So, easy bit of game score there, so check it out if you like. Just watch my video, follow my steps, go straight there, plan it, go, achievement, sorted, easy, takes, what, two minutes? Very easy to do. Insta-kill. Wow, that's sad, but insta-kill is so cool. Insta yeah. I love insta-kill, it's amazing. Being me, so stupid, gets it at the end of a round, so it's pretty pointless, but hey-ho. <coughs> And nearly at the crazy jumping monkey zombie things again. Giant face thingies. Yeah, they have a literally mouth over their face. Uh, they're pretty cool. Hard to kill. They are bitches sometimes. Little bastards when they're jumping on the roof, the walls, the floor, everything. But treat it like dogs. And sit in a corner with a friend, and then you will be fine because literally they'll run to you, just treat it like dogs, shoot them when they're there. Obviously, if you're talking to a friend, it's how one of them shoots while the other reloads. Make sure you're not reloading at the same time. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. This is, I think, it's a 26 minute video, so. I probably will be gibbering on quite a bit. So, be prepared. I mean, running that things to talk about, really. Um, The new maps, DLC maps, they're pretty good. I've only really played the skate park map, Grind, so far, which is a really good map. I enjoy it because, well, I just think it's really cool. The fact of skate park, you can jump on the ramps, the tubes everything you can just jump on him um, I played Mirage once so far um, it's okay it's a bit too much going on so I didn't really take amazing to it I didn't really get a lot of kills to be honest pretty tacky um, the other map the one with this, I think it's in the Alps set in the Alps that's a good map really good map so I, I enjoyed that map a lot um, I think this part of the game I go off on my own actually. Yeah, you know, I just go off and do my own little thing. This is where I found out most of the map. I've never been down any of these places before. I found out my most about this map. Found the AN94 and a little platform I was standing on just killing some zombies. Pretty cool. I got a couple of kills from it. I was following the power symbols so I thought I had to turn on the power but it didn't lead me to anywhere. So maybe I had to go a bit further. Maybe I went too far, I don't know. It's a bit of a complicated map, really. There's loads of stuff going on, that's the only annoying thing. And obviously, once you're on your own, you've got zombies after you from left, right, centre, up, north, west. Bloody everywhere, all around you. That's the only annoying thing. Look, as look, they're surrounding me. I don't know how I didn't die here. But luckily, I got them and just ran. you just got to run. With this sort of thing, just keep running and running. I think the fall there was pure luck that I didn't die. But then again, never know. Might have meant to do that. It's cool how you slide down like you would. There's the AN94, 95, I can't remember. Awesome gun. Um, Amazing, just like the AK to me. I, I, I use it like the AK. It looks like the AK, acts like the AK. It's more like the AK-47 in Modern Warfare 2 than anything else, which is, I loved that gun, it was amazing. And this is the platform I stand on for the rest of the game. Um, If you ever played, oh my god, I can't remember, the first ever Zombies with the Pack-a-Punch was in, I think it might have been Darius 1 actually. I'm not sure, I cannot remember, my brain has just gone. There was a platform at the end of the map next to the Pack-a-Punch where you would literally just go sit and 
they would have to run down the platform to get to you. I'm treating this a bit like that. Maybe acting like a bit of a noob, mistreating it. But that's just me. That's what I was doing. So if you don't like it, well, I don't really care. But yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the video, really. I've got another couple of minutes to talk to you. So I know I've been gibbering on rather a lot. I mean, I don't get too high in this game. I think I get to round 11 or round 12. I'm not positive. But, obviously, the next part 3 will be from when I die to maybe, hopefully, round 20. That will be the best thing. But I might have to get some of my mates to actually do that. Because, obviously, there's only three of us in here now, so it's not going to go down well. Found a little teddy bear there. Don't know what it's for. But... Um... Yeah, I didn't know if it was like some sort of little bonus, but it isn't. Yeah, this is where they start coming. I give it my best shot. I don't last. I last quite a while for being on my own. So, because I am on my own for most of this round, because everyone else dies. Um. Yeah, it's pretty cool being on this balcony because you could when that once they're up there, if you just jump off, they have to come down. Jump back on, wait for them to climb up, then you just shoot them all in a row again. The stuff. So it's. Right, so. <clears throat> after you've been shooting them, basically, like I've been saying, you jump up and down from the balcony, they'll be chasing you around like I am now. It looks very complicated. Well, it doesn't look too complicated, it's just a lot of movement, turn in, shoot in, move, turn, shoot. Um. It worked out pretty well. I guess if there was four of you, it'd be a bit more of a jumble because you'd all be in different places, so it wouldn't work as well. So the fact I was on my own, I thought it was pretty, a lot better really because there was only one focus point for them. So don't try run out because you, I don't know if you can actually get out of there decently. So I was a bit, I got trapped there. Well, I wasn't trapped, but if zombies were coming after me, I would be, and I would there. As, I thought that was a ray gun. I don't know why it just looked like a ray gun. Um, obviously, look like in here I'm trapped again. So there's no way you can go. That I found you might be able to somewhere. Probably jump to another building. But I didn't know that, so I was just running around treating the balcony as a little bit of strategic point. Wow! Since when did jom zombies jump that high? Fucking hell. Um. So yeah. This has been my video. It's been a nice, calm, relaxed video. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you can, rate, comment, subscribe, like. Like my Facebook page. The link will be in my description. Part 3 will be out in the next few days. So keep, keep checking in for the Part 3. I'll be doing other videos. If you need a commentary for any other game, you want a video on any other game, a walkthrough or anything, just let me know. I can do Skyrim very well because I got the book. So all you have to do is just invo well, message me on Facebook or on YouTube and I'll check it out. Thanks for watching. See you later.